Hey, it's just so Trish, and I'm excited to tell you we are moving in the schoolhouse. When I say moving, I'm not really talking about moving our school into the schoolhouse. I'm actually talking about us moving into the schoolhouse. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to take you in. You'll see it all. Um, I told you from the rain that we had some... Let me get in here. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Um, I told you from the rain we were having um, some issues. Like we have, we had a leak. Our leak has actually turned out to be a bigger problem than we thought, and we cannot fix it while living in it. So we have some roof issues. So we actually have to move out to do the repairs. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So we're looking at our options. Um, keep turning around. Yeah. We were looking at our options and the best option, we could go rent the whole nine yards, but I have the construction trailer. It's 500 square feet and we are getting it set up this weekend. This kind of, I mean, actually this has kind of been going on for about a week or two. Um, we're getting it set up this weekend, and at the most, at the least, we're moving beds in. Beds in a TV in the schoolwork. Just so we're not in there, we might very well, we'll be going back and forth to shower and pate and all that until other things are done. But I'm not quite sure how long we're going to be in here. I'd like to say we're going to be in here three weeks. We could be in here two months. I don't know yet it's a little bit strange <laughs> one of the things i have gotten done and have been able to do is actually um this is very clean this is cleaned up so this is the um kind of the main room and then i have what is my office has always been right here so this is actually going to turn into our bedroom so I'm losing the desk, so all the desks will go in storage. I've been kind of picking, I've been seriously picking up because you know, I'm just a clutter bug. So I've seriously been picking up. So this will be my bedroom. Yeah, okay, are you shocked? This is crazy. Hey, we're gonna tiny house it with eight people. I don't know, we'll do it, we'll just one day at a time. One day at a time and we'll figure out what we're doing. And hopefully it'll just be an easy fix. We'll move back in the house. No big deal. Right? And then, see, I still have... And then I have a front office here. So this will probably become like the girls' room. And then the boys will sleep in the living room. Or whoever, whatever. I don't know. We're going to move the bunks in. But I still have to move all this stuff out. That's this weekend. I even have the... Um, that's where we put the back seat to the van. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what we have going on. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I think I have a beautiful view. I think the view is prettier from here than over there. And it has central AC. That's a huge thing. We're going to have central AC. Haven't had that in a while. And our big thing is <laughs> getting, kind of getting Wi-Fi. Is that not funny? The priorities, electricity, AC, and Wi-Fi. And then we'll figure out if we need to walk back and forth to go to the bathroom and cooking. And I mean, we'll just walk to go cooking. It's about 500 feet, 500 to 1,000 feet maybe, maybe. So, yes, this is what we are doing. I put up there, this may be a classroom one day. No, this might be a house. But I think it'll be kind of cool. Talk about needing to minimize. I'm minimizing. I mean, it's kind of motivating to minimize. I'm not going to lie. And then the idea of just actually moving in here with what you need and not everything else. Is it a really a bad thing? So it should be interesting. I'm just going to take it as this is going to be exciting. What do I say? Yeah. I don't know. Could you imagine moving into 500 square feet with eight of you? And you homeschool, so you're home all the time. I think you're going to have a lot of time outside. But anyways, that's what we got going on. And then hopefully I'll be able to tell you more. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I like this room the best. Actually, I like the front room. It has way more windows. But, um, if things get a little bit hairy on my channel or on the Bridgewell Homeschool Co-op, I'm dealing with this. I'm dealing with moving into a 500 square foot house. Hmm. Oh, well. It's like camping. We're going to be camping. We're going to be camping with a bed. We're going to glamp. That's what it is. We're not tiny house in it. We're going glamping for two months. It's four to four weeks to eight weeks, something like that. We're glamping next to the house. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to tell myself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Yep. I'm telling myself that too. Th this is going to be fun. Trish, this is going to be fun. Trish, you're going to make it fun. Or I'm going to go crazy. No, it's going to be okay. Right? Right? It's going to be okay. Anyways, I'm going to make the best of it. That's what I do. There ain't no reason to get crazy yet. But, um, pray for us. It shall be interesting. Tiny house. I don't know. I like the tiny house movement. I just, not something I'd picture with six kids. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe it will just be like, psh, easy life. I mean, shoot, they used to do it. Third world countries, man, they live in spaces smaller than this. A bunch of them. We can do it too. Right? Right? Anyways, that's it. That's it. We will talk to you later. You know what I'm doing this weekend. It's this. It's this. Okay. I gotta go. I have to start organizing things. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because I have to make six boxes become two boxes. <sighs> Ten years of crafting projects. I have to organize. And move out. Peace out, my friends. Peace out.